Okay, it has been a, uh, a long time since I was here. And uh, that's just because I started school again. I was really busy. Um, I don't know, that's about it, my only excuse really. Today was a big day, but I gotta fill you in on some other stuff before I tell you about this. Um, uh, a while ago, when I, before I went on my trip, which was in like August, my uh, orthodontist called me, he said, uh, Zach, he left me a message, he says, Zach, don't go past tray 19 out of 27, right? He says, don't go past 19, be in the, and I want to see you before you go, if you, before you put 20 in. So, I wore 19 for a long time, like a month, and then I went to see him after my trip, and, uh, he says, I actually don't need to put any more in, because 1 through 19 were made for straightening my teeth, teeth? And um, and then 19 through 27 were if uh, I had an overbite, which was uh, like a like a chance of happening. Then what he would do was he would put those buttons on in the elastics, and then 19 through 27 would be for fixing my overbite. So when I went in for 19, I didn't have an overbite, right? Like I'm fine. Now, when I went in, when he said I was good, it's cold out here. Uh, it's Canadian fall in October, mid-October. Um, when I went in like, a couple weeks ago after, for that visit, he says, well, you're, you're done now, really. Uh, all you gotta do is wear these trays a couple more times, and you have the option of either getting a retainer that is removable, like, a, like another Invisalign tray, but like thicker, like a retainer style, or you can just get the permanent wire on the back of your teeth. Uh, the removable one I would have to wear like for the first year. I'd wear it like every every second night or something, and then then I wear it once a week, and then I, and then I'd have to wear it pretty much once a week for the rest of your life, right? Or you can get this permanent wire one, which is what I I'm getting ahead of myself, which is what I got, right? Because for I can't keep a retainer on me my whole life. Like I'll lose it. I'm gonna have to go in. And, and get get it redone all the time, right? Um, plus, I don't want to be going over to like people's houses where I might spend the night and have to worry about bringing a retainer. So today I went in. It's so freaking cold. Uh, but the, the, my, in my house, they're watching Vampire Diaries, another vampire show. Um, vampires are like the coolest thing, eh? But whatever. So today I went in and I got my wire retainer and I just got back from doing that and it feels a little weird it's very thin like I thought I was gonna have like um I thought it was gonna stick out from my teeth a little bit and go along but it is like right on my teeth very very thin and I'll see if I can do a close-up of it ah. it goes along the the six teeth on the top front six teeth so one two three four five six and then one two three four five six doesn't go on the back I, uh, you can see that. So putting that on was okay, and then he took my attachments off too. I don't, I no longer have any attachments, and my teeth look better just from that, really, because the attachments, when you don't have the trays in, kind of make your teeth look like they stick out a bit. But it's okay now. Uh, you take those off. My teeth are smooth. You, you would never even know there was attachments on them. It's kind of crazy, actually. And what I've got here is some before pictures. So here, I'll show you my teeth. They are done now. Done. They look good. I've always had pretty white teeth. I'm, always, I'm blessed that way. Blessed with looks. Well, who knows. But anyway, here's some funny before pictures that I got. There's me. <laughs> Look at the big zit I had on my forehead for that picture. Anyway, if you get in close and look at my teeth, you can see how badly that one, that one there stuck out, right? Which is my main problem, and you can't see it as, as bad, but this one stuck out pretty far as well. 
but this one was the worst one. I just wanted to get rid of that because every time I smiled, I'd be, I'd be doing it from like this side so it wouldn't show, show up very much. So there's one picture. Let's see, I got another one. Um, there's my teeth again. Holy moly, they look huge on this thing. Uh, you can see how far they stuck out there. And so I'll just do a comparison. Comparison. And then, what else do I got? Oh, that one's not very good. There, this one, you ignore the up the nose shot. See if I can cover that. But <laughs> you can see how bad that one stuck out right there. Like it was, it was out there. It was a definite snaggle tooth, right? What other ones I got? I got a good one on the bottom. Okay. Where's my bottom ones? My hands are so cold I can't tell how many pages I'm flipping. Here we go. Uh, up this way. So these are my bottom teeth all along here. And they are pretty crooked. And now... My lips are a little dry. So... I am stoked. So what he told me, I got this thing on. Avoid eating apples and things like ribs and like hard ass steak for the next for the next two days, he said. I'm gonna wait like a week because I don't want to risk this thing snapping off, right? And having to go back in there. But uh yeah. And then here I, I got my final set of trays here. My bottom ones. Um I was done at number twelve. And I've probably had Invisalign in as long as let's say if I went up to week 22 because I've had to wear some for an extra week or two right but and these are number 19 and I've been wearing these for about a month and a bit but after a while like I've had 12 in for a long time if you can remember how long ago that video was these are looking gross and I do my best to brush them but after a while man you gotta if anyone, I'll show you, like, see if you can see the difference. Like, in just murkiness, bottoms versus tops. I don't know how well you, that's going to be able to be seen. But, like, look in there, and you can see, see, like, white on them. There you go. That's a good shot. So... Either brush them three or four times a day, or find another way. Because if you're just going from week to week to week, like two weeks at a time, no problem. Brushing them works perfect. I never had any buildup on them. But those 12, that set number of number 12, I've been wearing for like, let's say, five months. And they, just brushing them after a while, for me, didn't work very well. But the top ones you can see, I've been wearing for over a month, and they look perfect. So, yeah, boy. I don't know what else I could say. Oh, I'm going to get my sister for a second. Hold on. And then she'll show you what she had to do. She actually, because I was a good kid, I wore my things right, and, uh, and I got to finish early. She wasn't, and I'll show you what she got done. The four braces, just the clear brackets instead of the colored brackets. So they're just full-on braces? Yeah. So she ended up having to switch to just regular braces. Smile bigger. Do this. Go. She ended up getting that. They don't look that that visible. Just the wire, really. You can barely see the uh, attachment things on. But that's what happens when you're a little punk and you don't. I wore my braces. Fine, thank you. Yeah, but you didn't keep them in right, and you always that's were fine. you were playing with them, and you would put them in right you after you ate. I don't play with them. I'm done now. Oh, I'm done. Shit. I'm done now, and you're not. Bye. Okay, so I will be back. Um, you know, let me know what, if you want to hear about anything. Uh, I'm sure I could do some funny commentary on whatever's going on in the world or whatever. Things that piss me off. Like uh, people who steal your parking spaces. And I had some freakouts on those fools. Um, yeah, and I'll just, come, I'll just come on once in a while. Maybe uh, every two weeks, week. Who knows? It depends how I'm feeling. Because really, like, 
so when I go for a long absence, I'm just kind of like in the dumps, man. So if I'm if I'm feeling well, then I'll uh, I'll make a video that day. Anyway, peace and love, mainly love.